Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Dang. Ooh. Oh, God. So, here I am. That's probably bad to do to a new laptop. So, here I am with the normal M1 chip MacBook Pro. And in this video, we're going to do some 6K footage playback and speed tests with the M1 MacBook Pro versus my old Intel-based MacBook. And see who can better handle the footage from the almighty 6K Pro. My name is Matt and welcome back to Viva Media. If you want to see more videos like this comparing the latest and greatest hardware in video production and everything in between, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and tickle that little like button. <laughs> so in this video, we are not really going to get into specs and benefits of Apple's M1 or ARM chipset. There are a zillion and a half videos out there explaining that. So we're just gonna dive right into it, do a practical test of this new machine in three different test setups using the Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro and and it's B-RAW footage. We're gonna test general clip playback on the machines using Blackmagic's RAW player. We're going to test timeline playback of multiple B-RAW clips within a Premiere Pro sequence with some light color grading applied. And finally, we are going to do a export test from these machines, 6K B-RAW footage from the latest version of Premiere Pro. Let's see how these babies do. So first and foremost, we're going to test clip playback as is on the computers natively using the Blackmagic RAW player. And we're gonna hit play at the same time and just observe what happens here. Little stutter on this guy, little bit of a stutter. Overall, not too bad if I'm being honest. This one definitely played back smoother. This one had a little bit of a skimpy dim towards little sections of the video, but uh, it did play back relatively okay, I think, relatively fine. Let's close this out onto something a little bit more real world. Right off the bat, this one already loaded way quicker. This one, uh, I haven't seen anything as of yet. This one, ripper and ready to go. There we go, it has arrived, it is here. We have multiple clips here in the timeline, uh, even just scrubbing, looks pretty okay, looks pretty okay. This took a little longer to load up initially, but now that we are loaded, we seem to be playing back perfectly fine. You can see the image size is 6144 by 3456, and we're just going to hit play, the space bar, and observe. This is really spinning up now. And play. There are some frames being dropped on the M1 MacBook Pro, but not nearly as many as are being dropped on the 15 inch MacBook Pro. Let's put an adjustment layer. Actually, no, we'll apply Lumetri color. And we're gonna play this and we're gonna see how it goes. Ooh, ooh. It is getting a little slideshowy over here, but it is still playing. This has failed in full. Let's just, let's try that one more time. As you can hear, this thing is, uh, there's a mini tornado happening inside this computer. Wow. Dang. Ooh. Oh God. This is about as real world as it gets for testing this stuff out. Now, I think, Playback is one thing, but exporting is another thing. So let's go ahead and try and export these timelines and see how we do. So we're gonna do an H.264 export. We're going to match source uh, at high bit rate. So we have our export buttons queued. We're just gonna do it and we're gonna see how this goes. Exporting. All right, 30 seconds remaining on the M1. <laughs> the 15 inch hasn't started. And the M1 is 20 seconds left over. Two, one, done. The M1 is done. We've got seven minutes left and it's at 12%. This sounds like a jumbo jet. Oh, we're already watching our finished video while we wait for this one for another seven minutes. We could render seven exports on here by the time this is done. Well, you wanna go get lunch? And there we have it. So after watching Gandalf for 10 hours, this is finally done. It took over 10 minutes for this to actually complete. So, is this case closed, shut, the M1 is better than everything else out there? No, 
but it is extremely promising and we are gonna be following this very closely as they release more and more systems and computers and devices that run on the ARM architecture. As always, thank you for watching. My name is Matt, we are Viva Media, and we'll catch you in the next video. And these bagels in the background. Did anybody notice there are bagels there? There's bagels there.